hi students in this video we are going to learn what will happens when acids reacts with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates let us do an activity to do this reaction now let us see what are the apparatus we need to do this experiment required materials the first one is two test tubes sodium carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate two hold rubber stopper thistle funnel stand dilute hydrochloric acid delivery tube calcium hydroxide in another test tube okay let us see the procedure how to do this lab activity right now okay now the procedure is previously we should take two test tubes label those two test tubes as a and b in the first test tube we should take 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate and in the second test tube we should take 0.5 grams of sodium bicarbonate take the first test tube and arrange the apparatus as shown in figure here we attach that test tube to a stand and we should close the test tube with a two hole rubber cork in the one hole of the rubber cork we should keep one thistle funnel and in another hole we should arrange one delivery tube the other end of the delivery tube should be in another test tube which contains lime water in it now add 2 ml of dilute hcl to that test tube then we can see few bubbles come out from that test tube allow that or the gas passes through that delivery tube when the gas passes through calcium hydroxide solution in another test tube here the calcium hydroxide turns into milky white so with this we can say that the obtaining gas in this reaction is carbon dioxide let us write the chemical reaction for this reaction here the chemical reaction is hcl plus na2co3 gives rise to nacl plus h2o plus co2 gas here we are passing the co2 gas through calcium hydroxide solution there the reaction is caoh twice plus CO2 gives rise to CaCO3 plus H2O. In the same way, take the test tube B and arrange the apparatus as shown in figure. Here also we are adding 2 ml of HCl solution to sodium bicarbonate solution present in the test tube. Here also. some bubbles will come from that sodium bicarbonate again we should allow that gas to pass through the other test tube which contains calcium hydroxide in it so here also the same reaction happens the calcium hydroxide turns to milky white so here the reaction is HCl plus NaH3O3 gives rise to NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. So with these two reactions, we can say that when acids reacts with metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates, it releases carbon dioxide gas. Now the question is. 
what will happen sir when you pass excess co2 gas into the test tube which contains calcium hydroxide in it on passing co2 gas through calcium hydroxide the following reaction takes place cooh twice plus co2 gives rise to cacio3 precipitate plus h2o if you pass excess gas here the reaction is cacio3 plus h2o plus co2 gives rise to caho3 twice that is calcium bicarbonate will be formed in this reaction okay with this activity the final conclusion is when acids reacts with metal carbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates it forms a salt water and releases carbon dioxide